everybody, this is the crate dig video for the month of September 2012. Stuff I picked up this month. Um, not too much compared to past months. Been really trying to slow down and uh, go through what I already have. And a lot of it actually came from just this past week. Went to a couple sales and got a lot of uh, hip hop 12 inches. So uh, we'll see what's there. One thing that I forgot to talk about in the last video that I picked up in probably August or July is this one, Synthetic Substitution. Drum brake people will know this one. It's pretty famous, pretty valuable. So I had to get it because you don't see it that often. Um, start off the month, got this one. Return of the Incredible Bongo Band. Just their other LP, I already have their first one. The whole darn family has arrived. These guys did the um, famous bass and drum break that was used by Jay-Z, other people. I think I talked about uh, the 45 for that song in the past video, but this is an actual LP. And that little post-it there says Northern 45, so I picked up about 240 or so. Uh, seven inch singles that I'll have to go through. They're not going to be in this video though. Daily Wilson Big Band on tour. Another group that I kind of discovered through researching drum breaks and all that. Uh, another one by the Daily Wilson Big Band is on Mob Deep Shook Ones Part 2. The drum break for that is off another one of their LPs, but um, this is another one of their albums. It's, I think an Australian only pressing because they're from Australia, if I'm not mistaken. So that was good to find that. Related to Mob Deep and Shook Ones is Quincy Jones Dollar Soundtrack. This one has the track Kitty with the Bent Frame, I think, which has the uh, one of the crucial parts to the beat to Shook Ones Part 2. So I always thought that was pretty cool. I picked that one up when I saw it. Here's one down here. When the 45s. When I get 45s, they're usually at the bottom of the crate, so sometimes I miss them, but uh, this one is Sugar Billy, Billy Garner, super duper love. Another guy has some real famous drum breaks in his uh, catalog, in his discography. Some of his singles can go for a lot of money. That one was moderately priced, though. So. The Last Words, some psychedelic. Bowie High School, straight ahead. I uh, just kind of just threw this one in with that auction set. Nothing really spectacular on here, more just like generic jazz band stuff, but private pressing, so that was good. Uh, this one is Jimmy Scott on Eastbound, Pair and a Spare. Pretty much anything on Eastbound I'll pick up because it's usually uncommon. Um, Lord Finesse, party over here, 12 inch. Got a good deal on that one. That post it says Davis 7 inch set, which I'm also not going to show in this video, but I was in Davis for a cousin's wedding and took a little time to crate dig up there and actually got a shot at a bunch of jukebox 45s, pretty much in all mint condition. And so I uh, went through all that, got them for a quarter piece, pulled out some that were worth maybe 40, 50 bucks, just some local funk and soul stuff like that so that was pretty good showbiz and ag bounce to this 12 inch stizo crazy noise and uh stizo i think it's called it's my turn stizo is notable for being the first song to use the skull snaps drum break after that the doors are open for using that so that was good another drum break lp a group called Love. Um, pretty much famous for their first album, Forever Changes, but this is one of their later ones and it has a real nice drum solo which has a drum break within it. So, got a good deal on this one because it has some radio station writing on it, but it didn't matter to me. Um, now for uh, some real good Seven inches I picked up. Black Murda. 
Cynthia Ruth with Reality. On chess, this is, uh, I believe, their only 7 inch single. Pretty hard to come by, so I was, got that. Here's uh, Billy Garner, who I talked about a minute ago. This is one of his rarest singles. Uh, the stuff on this label, New Day. He has another one that was used by Gangstar in the song BYS. Um, the drum break from that, but this one is just real raw funk music from uh, 74, I believe. Or no, 71. So got that. Dropped a good amount on it, but worth it. Um, another 7-inch set I have to take care of that I picked up, but this is by the Charmels. Another group I decided to purchase because of uh, their other song, which the Wu-Tang Clan used. <laughs> I'm finding a lot of these, a lot of these purchases I made are really related from to uh, just songs that I know or you know just like semi-related to an exact record I've been looking for. This one on New Bag Records, Starborn. I really just got it because for some reason this label stood out to me when I watched uh, DJ Shadow's Midnight in a Perfect World video. There's a, a part of it where it flips through a bunch of different 45s and for some reason New Bag I think is the last one so it just kind of stuck in my mind. So seeing this I thought I'd get it and it's pretty rare in itself. And this one is the Celebration, a song called Junk Man. Uh, this stuff I just picked up this weekend actually, another big sale by my Hollywood guy. Um, Mystic Moods DJ Sampler, pretty much a, a cover purchase, but it was like, sort of funky, I guess, the music. And uh, it's got this nice <laughs> inner sleeve there. Uh, this one, Quincy Jones' Lost Man soundtrack, has a DJ Premier sample on it, so I picked that up. Ice T, I'm Your Pusher, 12 inch. Johnny Guitar Watson, Ain't That a Bitch. Fortunately, didn't have the cover, but know that one from uh, Superman Lover by Red Man, among other samples. George Clinton, Paint the White House Black, 12 inch. Savoy Brown, Hellbound Train. These guys always have some really, really cool artwork on their LPs. Plus, it's pretty good music, blues rock. I really love like fully illustrated sleeves like that, and I tend to just pick stuff like that up, even if the music isn't that good. Um, Los Chavos. I really didn't find anything on the internet at all about this. Uh, it's a Mexican group, on a Mexican label, I think. Kind of psychedelic. I didn't really listen to it in too much depth, but thought the artwork was cool. Thought it might be rare. Uh, could be for all I know, but there was really no documentation on the internet about it at all. So Los Chavos, self-titled. Bob James Two, another copy. This is the German pressing. Eddie Harris, electrifying Eddie Harris. Stan Jets, Lorindo Almeida, some Brazilian stuff on Verve. Cannonball Adderley Quintet, why am I treated so bad? Mahogany Rush, another group I pick up for their artwork. Check some of this out, it's really cool. Crazy. Uh, session 2, this is like Japanese jazz, I think. Nothing that extraordinary, but it was pretty good. Herbie Hancock, uh, Secrets. That LP is the foreign pressing. I forgot which one. Johnny Guitar Watson, a real mother for you. Herbie Mann, Muscle Shoals, Nitty Gritty. Um, usually, stuff on this label, Embryo, is going to be good. It's his kind of experimental label. Roy Ayers, Love Fantasy. Otis Redding, Carla Thomas, King and Queen. It's got a drum break on it. Bootsy Collins, My Name is Bootsy. Cannonball Adderley, Country Preacher. King Curtis, Get Ready, Promo Pressing. 
Um, this is Gabor Zabo. Another copy of Led Zeppelin II. My old one is pretty thrashed, would barely play, so I thought I'd pick up another one that's in better condition. Uh, the Blues Project, Live at Town Hall, and Roland Kirk, The Inflated Tear.